Did you know that Nancy Pelosi's stock corruption was recently exposed? This became a huge controversy given her current standing in the U.S. government. Make sure to stay tuned and keep watching. Big names almost always create big issues. That is perhaps the price they have to pay for being a known individual. People who hold government positions especially are criticized for every word they utter, every decision they make, and every move they do. In today's video, you will see how Nancy Pelosi's stock corruption was exposed. Nancy Patricia Pelosi, simply Nancy Pelosi, is an American politician serving as Speaker of the United States House of Representatives since 2019, and previously from 2007 to 2011. She has served as a U.S. Representative from California since 1987. Her husband, Paul Francis Pelosi Sr., is an American businessman who owns and operates Financial Leasing Services, Inc., a San Francisco-based real estate and venture capitalist investment and consulting firm. He was the owner of the Sacramento Mountain Lions of the United Football League. According to The Drill Down, a weekly roundtable podcast that looks at some of the most important issues of the week in tech and on the web, and how they affect everyone, husband and wife tandem Nancy and Paul Pelosi are making a killing on the hill. They said that if there's a dime to be made on an inside trade, that's where Nancy and her husband Paul can be found. The Pelosi's participated in at least 10 IPOs, GAI President Peter Schweizer told Jesse Waters on Fox News. The fact that a politician's family is allowed to participate in an investment that when it goes public generally doubles in value is a real indicator that there is a problem, he added. Under the Stop Trading on Congressional Knowledge Act of 2012, Lawmakers must disclose stock transactions made personally or by their spouses or dependent children within 45 days. As Democrats call for increased green energy spending, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's husband purchased 2,500 shares of Tesla stock, according to a congressional filing. The said filing showed that Paul Pelosi, the Democrat House leader's husband, purchased the Tesla stock on March 17th, when the company's share price reached approximately $872 per share by the end of the day. Pelosi bought the shares at a strike price of $500 per share, and they were worth around $2.18 million at the time of purchase. A periodic transaction report of Pelosi's purchase showed that she exercised 25 call options, 2,500 shares. Pelosi digitally signed the transaction on March 21, 2022, right before the Giga Berlin event. According to Forbes, the Tesla share purchase marks Pelosi's biggest equity investment this year. Not for the first time, Paul Pelosi spent money on some Tesla stock. Since Pelosi's purchase, Tesla's share prices have increased nearly 19% to over $1,036 a share, making his shares worth nearly $2.6 million, which made people wonder whether he is just that good or if there is something else at play. It can be noted that the Democrats have strongly campaigned for greater green energy spending, pressing President Joe Biden to act fast on pending legislation. A group of 89 House Democrats recently sent Biden a letter asking him to restart negotiations on the stalled Build Back Better Act, using the $555 billion of climate investments included in the bill as the building block to move forward. The Congressional Progressive Caucus, a group of 97 Democrat lawmakers, revealed an expansive agenda for the president that included climate provisions its members would like to see accomplished by executive action. Since taking office, Biden has supported a series of green technology subsidies, including a $12,500 credit for purchasing a new electric vehicle. When this came to light, people took a collective long breath and said, that makes sense, the Pelosi's are cheating. People thought Nancy manipulates the market while Paul vacuums up the affected stocks. This is not even the first time. Just last year, Paul Pelosi's Tesla options got a similar boost from Nancy. At the time, Democrats proposed $120 billion to fund clean energy projects and another $34.5 billion for zero-emission vehicles. The reconciliation bill also proposes $42 billion in tax credits for purchases of electric vehicles, which Democrats hope will incentivize new car buyers to purchase electric vehicles instead of gas-powered vehicles. Vehicles. 
Washington Free Beacon reported then. Again, it's not the first high-priced option bet Pelosi has placed on big tech stocks since last year. Paul Pelosi reportedly made about $5 million on option contracts tied to Alphabet stock. Pelosi is roughly worth $115 million according to an analysis of 2018 disclosures conducted by the Center for Responsive Politics, making the speaker one of the 10 richest lawmakers. What do you think about Nancy Pelosi allegedly using her position to learn stock trade secrets and using them for personal gains? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Lawmakers' personal investments have garnered increased scrutiny since a series of trades by Federal Reserve officials led to high-profile resignations in recent months. Though the Fed, whose monetary policy measures helped the stock market recover during the pandemic, has since unveiled rules banning officials from individual stock trades, Congress is still considering what steps it should take. However, in December 2021, Nancy Pelosi said lawmakers should be able to participate in stock trading, despite the potential ethics concerns. She told reporters at the news briefing, We have a free market economy. They should be able to participate in that. However, after receiving backlash, the Democratic leader reversed course months later and said she would support a ban if such legislation were introduced, according to the New York Post. Her statements at the time, though, were kind of vague. She said, I do come down always in favor of trusting our members. If the impression that is given by some that somebody is doing insider trading, that's a Justice Department issue, and that has no place in any of this. To give a blanket attitude of we can't do this because we can't be trusted, I just don't buy into that. But if members want to do that, I'm okay with that. Sadly, Pelosi is not the only one among lawmakers making high-priced trades. According to the financial data platform Quiver Quantitative, reps John Gothenheimer and John Rutherford disclosed more than two dozen stock trades which are worth less than $500,000 in total in buying names like Tesla, Verizon, and UPS while selling shares of Etsy, Snap, and Facebook. Ironically, a month before Pelosi's Tesla stock buying spree, the Congress moved to ban members from trading stocks. After months of resistance, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi has green-lighted a plan to ban members of Congress from trading stock. Several versions of a stock trading ban are also under consideration in the Senate, including one co-authored by progressive Democratic Senator Elizabeth Warren of Massachusetts and Montana Republican Senator Steve Daines. Still, numerous questions remain about what types of investments would be prohibited, what incoming members would be required to do to comply with a new law, and and whether family members of lawmakers would also be banned from trading stocks. A recent survey commissioned by a conservative advocacy group found that 76% of voters believed that lawmakers and their spouses had an unfair advantage in the stock market. The same survey conducted by the Convention of States Action also reflects the impact of new revelations about how widespread violations are of the current law 2022 Stock Act, which was designed to prevent insider trading and conflicts of interest in Congress. It was reported that in the past year alone, 54 members violated the Stock Act rules according to an analysis by Business Insider published earlier this year. The question at the heart of the stock trading issue is whether or not members of Congress have an unfair advantage in the stock market because they are privy to information daily that is not available to the public. This is the exact sentiment of the people when Tesla share prices significantly rose right after Pelosi bought the shares. Fox Business host Maria Bartiromo said that it is worth noting how wealthy Nancy Pelosi became while being a government bureaucrat. Disruptive tech research founder Lou Basinese said that there are more red flags than a communist parade going on with the fundamentalists, and that there are even more red flags in the Congress referring to congressmen and congresswomen. There's no way that they should be allowed to trade stocks. I think you do a twofold thing here. Ban it outright and watch how fast people only stay in office for a couple terms because they don't want to give up the wealth, the multiplying effect of being in power, and that happens when you can use the inside information that you get," says Lou. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to visit our channel and watch our other videos.